All right, what is up guys, it is Stormback here with another video, and in this one, as you can see by the title, I read Berserk for the first time. Now, I only read Chapter 1, and from that, I can already tell that this series is amazing. So, as an anime and manga YouTuber, you know, I've, I've heard my fair share of good series, and Berserk is no exception. I've heard that this is easily one of the greatest manga of all time, and just from reading chapter 1, I can already tell that. But before that, if you like the content you're seeing, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I mean, they're all free, so why not? If you want some dope channel merch links, that will be down in the description below. And if you want to see more of me, be sure to go check out my other channels and go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, which will all be linked down below. But without further ado, why don't we just dive right on in. So if you somehow haven't heard of Berserk or have just been living under a rock, it follows the story of Guts also known as the Black Swordsman, on his journey as he just goes around, you know, just from land to land, just killing anything evil that he finds, demons, monsters, people, just whatever that stands in his way. Like I said, I've only read chapter one, and I can already tell you it's definitely an experience. This, this first chapter drew me in like no other. Like, compared to the first episode of an anime and the first chapter of a manga, I honestly don't think the first chapter or first episode of any anime or manga has drawn me in like Berserk has. If I think hard about it, maybe Death Note or Attack on Titan, but that's about it. Just the way the story starts, it's it's completely different from anything I've ever seen, and it's, I, I, I fucking love it already. Literally the first couple of pages starts out with the main character Guts fucking this demon bitch in just going to town and then immediately killing her. It caught me off guard so much, but at the same time, it just completely grabbed my attention. And from then on, I was definitely invested in the story. And in chapter one, it feels like you go through an entire arc, but it's all in a single chapter, unless it's 200 pages long, but it feels like an entire arc. But that's not a bad thing because the pacing, it just somehow works. As I continue reading the first chapter, the story, the lore, and especially the main character Guts drew my attention, and especially Guts' backstory. I'm really, really excited to see what tragic shit happened in his past to make him the badass that he is. And let me tell you, Guts, oh my god, just from the first chapter, this man is a menace, and he is, he is such a badass protagonist. The way his character is introduced as some unstoppable force hellbent on completing his goal is just the way his character is conveyed. It's so, it's, it's just so compelling. It makes you want to see more of him. Usually in first chapters or first episodes of series, the main characters are kind of weak and pathetic to be honest, but right from the get-go, that is not how Guts is. He doesn't give a fuck and he is he just mows down his enemies. And the artwork when he does so, yo, it's it, it, it's so good. Oh my god. Just from this first chapter alone, I can tell that the artwork in this series is going to be amazing. And it's going to have some incredible panels at some incredible points in the story. And I can't wait to find out what those are. Now, the lore of Berserk kind of has me intrigued already because these demons that Guts is going around killing are apostles. Uh, that's what they're called anyway, and they are, they are definitely some menaces in their own right, especially the one that Guts fights in this chapter. Now, I have no idea what Guts' past is like or why he wants to kill them, but I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be entertaining, I can tell you that for sure. And also, when Guts is dealing with this apostle, I'm just gonna assume that's what this enemy is, that's what he calls him anyway, and he asks what the god hand is, or like, where the god hand are, and you can just see the fear in this apostle's eyes. He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with them. So you can tell that those, that those are going to be some real dangerous people if Guts ever comes across them. I'm going to assume that he does eventually in the story, and pretty excited to see how that's going to turn out. Now, we haven't really been introduced to any other major characters besides Guts. I mean, I guess there's his 
sidekick, uh, that's what I'm going to call him, it's uh, this fairy named Puck, not really sure how he fits into the story, I guess he's just along for the ride, he's kind of the comedic relief of the story, I mean, not really too invested in him, I literally just got introduced to his character, but compared to Guts, there's, there's no comparison. But as the story goes on, Puck's character will probably be expanded upon more. And one other thing that I forgot to mention is that in this chapter, it, I can already tell that this series is heavily violent and gory, and that just makes it even better. I mean, it is a dark fantasy manga, but just some of the shit I have seen in this first chapter, I know that this story is going to be hella dark and have some very fucked up moments. Even in this first chapter alone, there were some moments that just completely caught me off guard and just, I was not expecting whatsoever. And I feel, no, no, I know that this series is going to do that a lot. And I honestly think that this series might just break me. But I guess I'll have to find out and see for myself by reading the story even more. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below if you want to see me make more videos on Berserk as I continue reading the story. But with that, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. I still